Welcome to lesson 10.2. So today we're going to start our introduction to conics and specifically once we get into the conics overview we're going to learn about parabolas which I know that we've talked about a little bit before but we're going to learn a little bit more about parabolas today. So first of all what is a conic? A conic is the type of shape or a conic section is the shape that you're going to get depending on how you intersect a plane with a double napped cone. And when I say double napped cone, what I'm meaning are these cones right here that are placed nose to nose. So when they have the, they meet right here nose to nose. So there are four specific types of figures that you're going to get when you intersect a plane with a cone. The first is a circle. And you can see that here when you intersect the plane and it's parallel to the end of the cone here, you're going to get a circular figure. The second is when you tilt that plane slightly, but it still goes completely through one of the cones, what you'll get is an ellipse. The third shape that you're gonna get is a parabola, and this occurs when you take the plane and you tilt it, but it only goes through part of the cone. It doesn't slice the cone completely. So you can see where it's just going through one part of the cone, whereas the ellipse went through both, it sliced it completely. So it's kind of like you're slicing off a piece of the cone. The shape that results from this is a parabola. And then the last type of shape that you can get when you intersect the plane and it's perpendicular to the end of the cone then you'll get a hyperbola. So today we're specifically going to focus on parabolas for the conic sections. And I know that we've talked about parabolas before, but we're gonna learn a little bit more about parabolas today. So you are familiar with the general equation of a parabola. That's ax squared plus bx plus c. But let's actually go into the definition of a parabola. By definition, a parabola is the set of all points, x, y, in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line called a directrix and a fixed point not on the directrix called a focus. Okay, so we have two new terms here, directrix and focus. And I think it's best to show what these are with the, with the chart or with a graph. So... Every single point of this parabola right here is equidistant from both this point right here, which is the focus, and this line down here, which is the directrix. So you can pick any point on this parabola. It will be the same distance from both the directrix and the focus. So for example, take point P. This distance here, if we take it straight down to the line, is going to be the same distance as if we were to draw the line to the focus. Same exact value. If we took one that's even closer, so let's say we took a point right here, the distance from this point to the directrix, we'll label that x, is going to be the same distance as to the focus. They are the exact same. So no matter what point you pick on the parabola, it will always be the same distance from the focus, and the directrix. Okay, so now that we've learned those two new terminologies, let's take another look at the equation of a parabola. And this is the standard equation. So the standard equation for a parabola is x minus h, the quantity squared, equals 4p times y minus k. We also have it in the flip form where it's the y part that's squared, so y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. This is gonna be your sideways parabola. So the parabolas that we're most common or most familiar with are going to be either a U-shape or an upside down U-shape such as this. However, we can also have a sideways parabola that would look something like this. So that would be our sideways parabola. Okay, so we've got some new variables here. We've got an h, we've got a p, we've got a k. So what are those variables? Well, h comma k is your vertex. That is going to be your vertex of the parabola. p is the distance of the focus from the parabola. So remember, in our previous slide, we had a graph where the focus was up here. So p 
would be this distance right there, the distance between the focus and the vertex. So depending on what type of parabola you have, it will either be added to the y-coordinate, if it's a right-side-up parabola, or to the x-coordinate, if it's a sideways parabola. And then note, the vertex is always going to be the midpoint between the focus and the directrix. They will always be equally spaced apart. So if the focus is this far up, then our directrix would be down here somewhere. And the vertex would be the midpoint between these two, these two things, the focus and the directrix. Okay, so now that we have all this down, let's go ahead and put this into action and let's do an example. So we have the example where we need to find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix of the parabola with the equation x plus five plus y minus one squared equals zero. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get it to look like one of our standard form equations. And this is gonna be a sideways parabola because it's our y components that's squared. So remember, our standard form was y minus k. The k always is attached to the y part. That's your y coordinate of your vertex. So y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. So in order to get this equation to look like this, we're going to subtract off the x plus 5 and move it over to the other side of the equal sign. So now we have our equation y minus 1 squared equals negative x plus 5. Okay, so now we can figure out our vertex straight from this equation. Because remember, h comma k is your vertex. So we have the vertex is and it's always going to be the opposite sign of whatever's in your equation. So since we have a positive 5, it's going to be a negative 5. Comma, we have a negative 1, so it's going to be a positive 1. So there's our vertex. Now we need to figure out what our distance is between our vertex and our focus. And we use p to find that out. So we're going to set 4p equal to our coefficient right here. So we're going to put our invisible one, we're going to draw that one right there. So we're going to set 4p equal to negative 1 and solve for p. So divide both sides by 4 and we get p equals negative 1 fourth. So now that we know the distance between our vertex and our focus, we can now solve for our focus. And because it's a sideways parabola, that means that our focus is going to change the x-coordinate only. If it was a right-side-up parabola, then it would change the y-coordinate instead. But because it's sideways, it's going to be added to our x-coordinate because we're going to move along the x-axis. So our focus equals negative 5 minus 1 fourth comma 1. Because remember our equation would have been h plus p comma k from the previous slide. Okay, so now let's get this to where it's a mixed or a, a fraction. So change negative 5 to a fraction, so we have negative 20 over 4 minus 1 fourth. So that gives us negative 21 over 4. So our focus equals negative 21 fourths comma 1. All right, the last thing that we need to figure out is the directrix. And the directrix is in the opposite direction as our focus. So we did h plus p. Now we're going to do h minus p. And remember, your directrix is just a line. So it's going to be the line x equals h minus p. So in this case, it's going to be x equals negative 5 minus a negative 1 fourth, which equals negative 19 fourths when you simplify that out. So our directrix is the line 
x equals negative 19 over 4. Okay, so we've solved the problem. We have done everything that it's asked for. We found the vertex, which was negative 5, 1. We found the focus, which was negative 21 over 4, comma 1. And we found the directrix, which is x equals negative 19 over 4. So that is it. That's all you're going to have to do for the lesson today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.